So unit 8 is called systems of equations and 8.1 is solving systems of equations graphically. That's on pages 424 to 439. Our curriculum outcome is to demonstrate understanding of quadratic equations including the solution of single variable equations, which we've already done, and systems of linear quadratic and quadratic quadratic equations in two variables. That's what we're doing today. Our lesson objectives, number one, to understand what a system of equations actually is. Number two, to be able to find the solution of a system of linear quadratic or quadratic quadratic equations graphically. And three, to be able to interpret the solution of a system of equations. So a system of equations is when you have more than one equation that represents the same scenario. In this unit, we're focusing on linear quadratic and quadratic quadratic systems of equations. The solution to a system of equations is where the two shapes actually intersect. And we talked about uh, systems of linear equations in uh, foundations in pre-calculus 10. So if it's a linear quadratic, that means we have a line and a parabola. So we could have three different scenarios. We could have this line and this parabola not crossing at all. So we actually have no solutions. That's totally okay. We could have this line and this parabola crossing once. Something like that. That's okay as well. You'll find that out graphically if it crosses once or twice. And, or sorry, no times or once. Or we could have it crossing twice. That line could cross the parabola twice. So this is a linear quadratic system because there's a line and a parabola. Now we're also dealing with quadratic quadratic systems today. So you could have those two parabolas not ever intersecting, something like that. You could have those two quadratics intersecting only once. So if they just touch once, like at the vertex there, or those two parabolas could cross twice. So we have an intersection point here and an intersection point here. So you need to know that there are different scenarios and when you find when you take a look at those graphs you might have any of these situations happening so for example it says solve the following systems graphically and verify your solution we have x minus y plus one equals zero x squared minus six x plus y plus three equals zero so instead of graphing these by hand we're going to be smart and we're going to graph these using a graphing calculator mostly uh, desmos.com so here we are at desmos.com um, I've told the program to, to graph those two functions that we were looking at, x minus y plus 1 equals 0, which is just a line. Hopefully you can recognize that a line because there are no squared terms. And x squared minus 6x plus y plus 3, which is equal 0, and that should be a parabola. So what we're really looking for right now is where these two lines intersect or these two shapes intersect. And the one point is 1 comma 2, and the other point is 4 comma 5. So these are what we call the solutions to this uh, system of equations. It also asked us to verify these solutions, so we're going to have to do that by plugging in both these values into both these equations and making sure that the left hand side equals the right hand side. So here we're going to do a verify our solutions. We've got 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 5 of our, as our two points. So I'm going to plug 1 comma 2 into my first equation and my second equation. So when I do that I get 1 minus 2 plus 1 equals 0. Well, that checks out. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. And then I get 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 should equal 0. And let's check that out. I get 1 minus 6 plus 2 plus 3. Well, that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. Minus 6 should give me 0, and it does. So both these answers check out. And both equations, sorry, check out. The other answer is 4 comma 5. So I need to plug that in, so I get 4 minus 5 plus 1 equals 0, and that's true, so that checks out. And then I get 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus 5 plus 3 equals 0, and that is 16 minus 24 plus 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 16 is 24, minus 24 does equal 0. So that is how you verify your answers. So here's our final example. It says, at another performance, the heights above the seesaw versus time for the performers during the stunt are approximated by the parabola shown. So what they're saying in the textbook, they did an example already. There was two people, acrobats, that were jumping from one seesaw to the other. In the, in the middle of the air, they would give each other a high five. And they were the second performer is starting one second after the first performer. And so where and when is that high five going to take place? So they give you two parabolas here, the first performer and the second performer. Now this is the height compared to the time. 
So the first performer, or second performer, definitely started one second after the first performer. So it says, determine the system of equations that models performer's height during the stunt. So we need to find the equation here. So the equation for both of these parabolas, we'll do the light blue parabola first. So remember that since it's a parabola, it follows y equals a x minus p squared plus q. And we can put the vertex in here. So the vertex of the first one is uh, right here. Now it said that that is the, uh, going up by 0.25 each of these squares. So that's x minus 0 0.75. And the height of that thing, well, it said it reached a maximum height of 4.5. So that is going to be 4.5 right here. So we still need a value for a. So remember that to find this value for a, we need to plug in a point that's on the parabola. Well, the point that's on the parabola is this point 0, 0. So we put in 0 and 0 for x. When we solve this thing, we move the 4.5 over to the left-hand side. So we get 4.5 equals a. And now negative 0 0.75 squared is 0 0.5625. And that means our a value, when you divide negative 4.5 by 0 0.5625, our a value is negative 8. Now this other parabola is exactly the same shape, so it also has uh, a value of negative 8. And so the only thing that changes is its uh, vertex. So its vertex happens to be at, not at 0 0.75, but 1.75, but it still has the same height. So it's x minus 1.75 squared plus 4.5. So you have to remember how to find the equations for parabolas. Um, we need to solve the system graphically using technology, so we're going to move over to desmos.com to do that, and we'll also interpret our solution. We'll do part C at the same time. So I've plugged in both equations. We've got negative 8 times x minus 0 0.75 squared plus 4.5, and we have negative 8 times x minus 1.75 squared plus 4.5. So this is the parabola of the first one, and the blue one's the parabola of the second acrobat. And so what happens is that we get a final answer of an intersection point of 1.25 comma 2.5. So to interpret that, 1.25, remember that our x-axis was our time, so that just means that it takes 1.25 seconds before these two acrobats actually meet in the air. And they're at a height of 2.5 when that happens. And so since they're giving a high five, that's part of their act. They're just giving their high five at 1.25 seconds and at a height of 2.5 meters. So in summary, there are a different number of possible solutions to a system of equations depending on the type of system that you're looking at. You could have a linear quadratic, which is just a line and parabola, or you could have a quadratic and quadratic. So depending on how these uh, shapes are orientated on your graph, you might have zero, one, or two solutions. Where the two graphs intersect is what we call the solution, so that's just where they cross. And you may need to use graphing software to find out where those two graphs intersect. It's usually easier than trying to do it by hand, because you know um, drawing lines by hand is pretty easy, but drawing parabolas accurately by hand is a little bit harder. You need to remember how to find the equation of a line and the equation, equation of a parabola, so you can graph them though. So remember that lines are usually best found by using y equals mx plus b. And parabolas, like we just found out, um, y equals a x minus p squared plus q, where p and q are is your vertex, and a is just that number in front that determines how wide or how narrow that parabola is. So your assignment is on pages 435 to 439. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.